Everyone knows John Mellencamp as a great singer and songwriter, but in Seymour, he's known also as a painter and a person who's given back generously to the community where he grew up. Mellencamp spent a lot of time with friends in this beautiful old house built around 1850. When it became available, he purchased it, and today it is home for the Southern Indiana Center for the Arts, or SICA as the natives call it. He charges 50 cents a year to this organization that provides many opportunities for artistic expression and education. Dick Parman, a retired educator, oversees operations for the center and it really keeps him busy. We are so appreciative of John Mellencamp's generosity. He is such a great benefactor of our art center here. SICA has three buildings. The original 1850s house provides the gallery space for monthly exhibits. Our current exhibit is Youth Art Month. We also have classrooms and a gift shop where you can purchase work by members and students. But many Melonheads each year make the trek to Seymour to climb these stairs up to the second floor to view paintings by John and his mother, Marilyn. One of the main drawing cards here at the Southern Indiana Center for the Arts is our permanent display of John Mellencamp art. John's mom, Marilyn Mellencamp, is where John got his talent. These paintings provide a deep insight into a very private public figure. We're very grateful to the many fans who have donated to the center to keep our programs growing. In high school, John worked steadily with an art teacher, Don Hill, an artist himself with an interest in printmaking. Today, Don oversees the print shop, a separate building that includes print memorabilia from our local newspaper and describes the history of printing. Students come and take field trips to visit the print shop and learn how printing was done pre-electricity. But they come in here and they'll ink up this old 1850 press. They'll bring the roller over and roll the ink on, put the paper in, have one of them come up here and crank it in. And one of them will pull this press, big old handle. And when it opens up, they got a print. And they're amazed. They say, wow, look at that. If you're in the area, Check out the SICA website for information on hours, classes, and the Friday Night Live concert schedule. While here, you just might want to try your hand in a painting class or throwing a pot in the new pottery barn. Today, instructor Heather Hill is teaching us a little about pottery, but many classes are offered throughout the week oh, and yeah. weekend. Put SICA on your list for things to do in Jackson County. There's so much to do and see here, and you never know who you're going to meet. You know, this small town is all right by me. For Saver Indiana, I'm Kevin Gardner. And I'm Dean Wilson.